This morning, one of my Year 12 students asked to help with this question in a tutoring session, and it's such a good one, I thought I'd do it online for us all to see. So, here we go. We have a hockey ball that's been kicked, or hit, into a parabola. It's always a parabola, isn't it? And the question goes on about ignoring air resistance and that sort of stuff. So we know it's going to go roughly like that. And it tells us that the maximum height is going to be 2 metres, and that the height of the goal is 1.8 also tells us our initial upwards velocity. Now this is a big clue as to what they want you to do. So 6.3 meters per second. We need to find out what is the time that the ball stays in the air with a height above 1.8. So in other words, how long to travel between these two points. So the fact that it's asking us for two points and that it's given us the initial upwards velocity. Both of those are hints towards which formula we can use to do this. And in fact, we only need to use one. So we're going to start off with S equals UT plus R half AT squared. So we're looking for two times. And of course, this formula is going to give us two times. So our displacement then, we're going to set our displacement S to 1.8 meters and look to find both the times when it is 1.8 meters. Our initial speed 6.3 multiplied by t plus a half times minus 9.8 because we've made the displacement upwards, gravity of course is downwards, t squared. Right, so we can rearrange this now. We're going to get 1.8 equals 6.3 t minus 4.9 t squared. Well, in order to solve that, we need to set this equal to zero, or rearrange it rather, so that it's equal to zero. So first of all, I'll take the 4.9, add it to both sides. So then we get 4.9 t squared, take away 6.3 t, plus 1.8, all equals zero. So now we have got our quadratic equation. To solve the quadratic equation, simply look for the values of A, B and C. So A is going to be 4.9, B is going to be minus, it's negative, 6.3, and C is going to be 1.8. Now, I'm not going to spend time on here using the quadratic equation. I know the loss of you will just chuck these numbers into your calculator, which will spew out the answers for you. So I'm going to assume that you can put the values into that and get the two roots. When you've put those numbers into your calculator or use the formula there for the roots, you will get that time is 1.2 and 2.3. So what does that mean? Well, take the lower one. These are obviously in seconds. Taking the lower one, that means it's the time taken to get to a height of 1.8 meters. And the second value is the time taken to get to a height of 1.8 meters again. So the total time that it has stayed in the air above 18 meters is going to be 2.3, take away 1.2, or 1.1 seconds. This is a great question because it shows us the reason why we would want to use a quadratic equation in these um, projectile questions. Well, I hope that was marvelously useful for you.